This video will show you how to get started with the Etsy for kindergarten. So the first thing you're going to do is open an internet browser and navigate to the Ebly website, ebly.com. And once you get there, you're going to hover over this Etsy button and then click Etsy log on. When you get to this point, you're going to log in using your username and password, which if you've been to your orientation day, you'll have it. And if not, you will get it on your orientation day. So you're going to go ahead and sign in. And what you'll see on the home page once it loads are your content, your lessons are loaded in here. And we're going to come back to those in just a minute. But the first thing I'm going to show you to do is to change your password. So you want to do that because we give you general passwords and you want it to be something more secure um, that nobody knows how to get into your account. So you're going to hover on this menu on the left and click to my profile. And you'll see your name and email and some information. We just kind of put general information. Scroll to the bottom and click edit. And then you're going to scroll a little bit. Right under your email address, you'll see password, so you can highlight and type in your updated new password. Be sure and type it in again to confirm it. And once you do that, hit save. And then do write it down or note it somewhere um, so that the next time you come to log in, you'll know your new password. And that way you will be safe and secure and no one can get to your lessons. Um, so once you have changed your password, the main place your home page is under my learning on this menu. So you can always get back to all of your lessons by hitting that my learning. Um, before we get into the lessons themselves, I want to talk to you a little bit about the before the lessons section and navigating around. So when you click in to the, you'll see these lessons are grouped by um, up to five lessons at a time in a group. So you're going to click the square to the left of them. You're just going to start at the beginning and go in order. And what you'll see before even lesson one is there's a, a before the lesson section with several parts in it. And I want to briefly go over each of the parts with you so that you can be familiar with them once you log in. So the first part um, before the lessons is introduction and theory. So when you click to get in this little arrow up here, you want to be sure and click that, which will make it easier for you to navigate through each part. Um, so don't forget that little arrow guy. It's going to have a few pages with directions. And in order to get to the right and left within the pages, you're going to click next down here in the right. And then to get back, you'll click the back after page one. This little pages button here, if you click it, will pull up the documents, which we'll talk about the documents a little bit later. So click past the directions. There will be a video. Go ahead and click play to watch the video. And once you're done with this overview of the kindergarten lessons, there's more directions for you about watching videos. There's a video of Ebly in action about Ebly, general video there. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have directions and documents. So it's going to tell you you need a paper and pencil and also pull out these documents because they go along with the next video. So if you click the documents section, you'll see these two documents. You can click them and they'll pop up. And you can either print them or if you have a binder, then they're already printed for you. So that's telling you about the documents and now here's the video that goes along with them. And I'm just going to briefly click click through. Um, there's more directions in the next video. Now these introduction and theory videos are so, so important because they're telling you the why behind everything that we do with Edley, why you're doing things different, why you may not be teaching the same things that you're used to teaching from before, but what we have you teach instead. So understanding that piece of the, the why you're doing what you're doing is critically important. So these videos are going to be really important for that. For this whole before the lessons section, you're going to take about a half a day before you get started with your students and spend some time going through these sections and be sure, of course, to pause and watch every video before hitting next. Now, once you get to the end and there's no more next, you can just X out. And what it's going to show you, it's going to bring you back to those five lessons and it'll show your progress is completed, even though obviously the progress just shows the progress through the pages. It doesn't keep track of if you watch the videos or not, so be sure you're watching every video. That, that won't tell you that in the progress. The next piece is assessment. So when we click into assessment, this is going to be some formative assessments, two of them that you can have your students do before you get started with Ebly and then again mid-year and at the end of the year, really just for your information so that you can see how effective your Ebly instruction is. 
So I'm just gonna click through that so you can see eyes on that and you'll go ahead and, and do all of that. The next piece is just a brief little part to sh of references to, sh or sorry, resources to share with parents. Some documents, which are down here, of course, in the document area, and some videos. So we recommend sending, um, you can click, of course, the links will pop up a video. So we recommend sending an email with these links and documents to the parents before the school year starts so that they're familiar with what you're up to as well. Now this add data here part is really critical because what happened is when your school signed you up for the ETSL, they signed a contract that agreed to allow you to share your student test score data. Slightly different from the assessment we just talked about. This is whatever your school-wide assessments are or grade level-wide assessments are that you do beginning, mid, and end of year that you can share the data with us um, by putting it into this data document and there's directions on here plus a little video telling you about how to input that data. So be sure and go through that piece. That's the data. Um, your materials. What this is, is it's going to have decodable books. Really, really critical that you have your little kindergartners reading decodable books versus um, we don't like the pattern books so we want them to actually have words that they can sound out and practice their Ebley skills. So there's some links of decodable books that you can order if you don't already have them. And then toward the middle end of the year, depending on your students, they'll graduate into trade books. So here's a list of trade books that we also love. Um, this is a list of materials, the whiteboards, dry erase markers and erasers that students will need. So you can check out that material list. And then you will also have um, binder information in this page coming soon here. It's going to be the table of contents and the cover for the binder. Now if you already ordered the binder you're all set. Um, otherwise you'll print out those two documents and create your own binder as you go. This last part and before the lessons is called community and this is just the resources, Facebook pages, the discussion board, places where you can go to connect with others who are going through the Etzel in your same grade level, others who are familiar with Ebly, and how to get to your discussion board. So it gives you a little screenshot with how to, how to navigate in there, and I'll show you that as well. So be sure and read through, um, check out and join those Facebook pages so that you can have a community so that you can have some support and people around you as you are going through all of this. Um, and while we're on the discussion board, topic. This one you're in your five lessons at a time, if you click over to discussion, this is where you can click these little three dots, add a topic, put in your title, your question, whatever you're wondering about, you know, one of those lessons and post it. And then once you post it, it'll show up in here and you can also reply to other people's posts. If you click back to content, you'll be back where we were before with all of your stuff. So that's the before the lessons again get going before you start those lessons with your students and now let's talk about what each lesson looks like. So as you can see here if we scroll down you'll see lesson one there's A and B. So A is one activity and B is another activity and each one is half of lesson one. Your goal is to teach one lesson a day although of course at the beginning you're going to be a little bit slower and as you get going you're going to be faster and you may be even teaching more than two activities or one full lesson in a day. So give yourself some flexibility and permission to be learning and, and adjusting as you go. As long as you go in order it's all, um, it's all going to be fine because all the lessons and activities build on each other. So just don't skip anything and you'll be in good shape. Aim for two activities or one full lesson a day. So talking about our first lesson here, as you can see, or sorry, our first activity, first half of the lesson, you can see there's two parts. The first part is teacher learning and review. The second part is student learning. So if we click into teacher learning and review, I may not be yeah, at page one. So here, let me back up a little bit to page one. Because this is the very first lesson, there are a few kind of note pages. So you click through the notes. And then every time that you start an activity, it's going to tell you what kind of classroom video is coming up, whether or not you've seen the classroom video before. So if it doesn't say anything, it means it's new. And if it says you've seen it before, then obviously it's been in here before. Um, it's also going to tell you who's going to teach this lesson. More on that later. So you just know ahead of time whether or not Nora or you are teaching the lesson. The next thing you're going to see is a video of Nora teaching the activity in a classroom to some kindergartners. So you can see what that's supposed to look like. 
Then you're going to get these documents, your steps and helpful hints documents. So if you click to your documents area, the steps are going to be word for word, line by line, exactly what you do. And if you're saying anything, that's going to be in bold. So this is like your script for teaching the activity. The helpful hints is going to be more detail about why you're doing what you're doing, um, why the activity is laid out the way it is, what it's teaching, how often you're teaching it, the purpose of it, and it's kind of laid out with a question. So why do I use words and sentences beyond students' current ability level? And it answers all those questions that we've had come up with teachers in the past with training. So that's really helpful. Then on top of those two um, documents, when you go to the next page, you're going to have a training video for this activity, and it's going to go through in video format the steps and then the helpful hints in a presentation so that you can see it as well as having those documents as resources. The next thing is you're going to get some hints of things to remember as you go and prepare to teach your students. So that is the teacher training piece of that activity. And if we scroll down again, our progress is being saved here. Now we're going to go to the student learning half of that activity. So the student learning is going to start with, it's just going to tell you a little bit about video options. Now it's going to give you some directions on the upcoming video. So this next video, it'll tell you what materials you and the students may need. This next video is a student lesson video. You'll get some important notes of things to remember again. What this is, is Nora teaching your students. So you're going to play this video for your students in your classroom, and you are going to be walking around and facilitating, helping your students out, pausing the video when Nora says to pause, and uh, you know, addressing the things that she mentions if she does. So we do recommend the first few times you see these types of videos, watch the video ahead of time, of course, before you play it for your students so you know what to expect. They're short little ones, especially at first. Um, very powerful because you're going to start out with the student lessons for the first few weeks that you're doing this Nora is going to teach. Then it's going to fade away to Nora teaching maybe every other activity and then it's going to be all you teaching. So it's a really nice support system for you at first and then gradual release for you to be able to teach on your own and really feel confident and comfortable and know those activities by the time you get there. The last part of every activity is a little feedback form, another part um, that, that was signed to in your contract. So every time you get to the end of an activity, you're going to click this little form, you're going to choose your grade, you're going to choose the lesson number that you just completed, even if it's the first half of the lesson, that's fine. And then you're going to share any questions, suggestions, things you liked and things you didn't like about the lesson so that we can use that to help teachers in the future. We're really super important to us to keep refining and making things better and easier um, wherever we can. So that's, we're very passionate about that and appreciate your feedback. So do be sure to fill out those feedback forms whenever they come up, even if it's just a brief little, oh, this one went well, the kids liked it, or you know what, this video is too fat, you know, whatever, whatever the, your takeaway from that lesson, we want to hear it. So that is the student lesson. So again, that was just the first half of lesson one, the first activity, and we'll look at one more so that you can kind of see how the flow continues. So now again, we're on to a new activity with a teacher learning section, telling you about the classroom video, telling you that Nora is going to teach this lesson. Here's your video of Nora teaching the activity in a classroom. Here's your steps and your helpful hints documents that you can click to open up. And reminder that if you did order the binder, those documents are already in your binder. So you're just going to look up blending and find them there. Here's your um, training video with your steps and helpful hints on video. This goes along with those documents. And then here's your helpful, helpful hint. Stop the student lesson video to provide more support as needed. So just little things to help you remember. Then once you're done with that teacher training piece, you're going to go on to student learning. And again here, it's going to have whatever materials, an important note to remember, and a video of Nora teaching your students so you can play it for them in the classroom. And again, here's your feedback form to click that form again and fill out the little feedback form for us. So that's what a lesson looks like. Now, again, you've got, you know, lessons one through five in here. Do not worry about um, 
going through, you can like watch your teacher lesson sections, watch those videos, go through everything, do that during planning time. Maybe you do lesson 1A, lesson 1B, 2A and 2B all during one planning period and then you plan to do the student learning, the teaching in the classroom over the course of the next few days. So you can adjust your system however it works for you. Um, maybe watching you know, more of the teacher learning videos toward the beginning and then beginning of the week and then teaching throughout the week or, or if you wanna do it every day as it comes up you know, so it's fresh in your head. It's just whatever learning style works for you, take that and run with it. Um, I had another train of thought and I lost it. But yeah, as long as you go in order, the lessons all build on each other and so the students are gonna have exactly what they need from before to be able to continue on. And they really love all these activities, so it's, it's really fun, especially with those, um, those student lesson videos. So that is what your lessons look like. Now when you get all the way done, I'm just gonna scroll down so you can see, all the way through two and three and four and five. So once you get to the end of lesson five, you're gonna come back to my learning and you'll be able to tell that you're all the way done if you progress through. Instead of in progress, it'll say completed or something in green. And then you'll be able to click on to your next little pod here for lessons six through 10. And, oh, that's out of order. Um, and so you'll start with six and go on down the line and and just follow the progression in order here. So if you do have any questions, if anything comes up, if you have technical difficulties or anything at all, do email us at info at ebly.com. We are always there to help you out and um, fix anything that comes up and answer any questions that you may have. So we look forward to hearing from you. We hope that you enjoy getting started with Instancy and have a great time.